Hi, this is Paul with Diode Dynamics. Just to give you a brief explanation about our RGB product controllers. These are to control multicolor LED products. The first is an RF controller, very small unit, easy to mount anywhere. We just have a standard DC input and four RGB outputs. This comes with a remote control, which we'll go over in a second. The other one is a Wi-Fi controller, again very small. It just has a single DC input and an RGB output. This one comes with splitters to achieve four total outputs. We have the RF controller hooked up here. We have a 12 volt power source plugged into our controller box going to the RGB plug and to one of our proprietary plug and play RGB multicolor bulbs. Here's the controller. Just to show you how it works, we have colors across the top. So we can pick any one of those colors to go jump right to that color. We also have DIY buttons here. So if I select one of the DIY buttons, for example DIY1, it will jump to this preset color. Now to adjust this color, all I do is press up and down on each one of the individual color channels. So this is a pink right now. If I want to remove some of that red, I just hold the red arrow down and then the red will be removed from this color, leaving us with more of a bluish color. That will be set until we change it from that setting. So if I go to DIY2, I can program the next color, I can go back to green, or go back to that DIY1 color I just programmed. This allows you to match colors exactly with any other lights that might be on your vehicle. You can also use this, the mode settings. We have a jump 3, which jumps between three colors, red, green, and blue. We have a jump 7, which jumps through the main seven colors. We have a fade 3, fading through those three colors. A fade 7, to fade through the primary seven colors. As well as a spark mode, which just kind of comes on real bright and dims down between each color. For all the mode settings, we can use the up and down arrows to speed them up or slow them down. And when you're on a single color, they'll actually dim down the lights. This is really nice if you have a footwell kit for driving at night. You don't necessarily need to be blinded to have them on. We also have a simple off and on button. That's our RF controller. Okay, now we have our Wi-Fi controller hooked up along with an Android device. We have another video showing the setup process for this device. We have modes at the top, coloring, music, and built-in modes. For coloring, you can see it's just a ring that we can use to select the color we'd like. More white colors are in their middle, more solid colors are along the edge. You can see in the background it's just changing colors as I go. For all these individual colors, you can change the brightness with the slider at the bottom. Dim up and down and then there's an on and off switch as well. The music mode is in beta stage right now. You actually have to import mp3s from your device into a specific folder and then you can play and it will beat along with the music. Right now it does not use other media outputs such as Pandora through your phone. However, that's a feature we're looking to have in the future. What's nice is that even if the app is updated, you won't need to purchase another controller. Just the free app will be updated and you can get those new features without any cost. The final setting is the built-in modes, so these are just modes. For example, the first one is seven color crossfade. So if we go to that mode, you can see we have a crossfade. Then there's different ones, blue gradual change, that's just a slow strobe. You can kind of go through those and see a lot of different ones. There's a lot of different ones in there, but if you don't like any of those, um, you can edit mode by clicking edit mode at the top right. And here's our edit screen. So there's 16 color settings going left to right in the squares. Right now it's red, green, blue, and white. We can then set gradual jumping or strobe and then change the actual speed as well with the slider at the bottom. So say we want a Christmas color, for example, we can just remove the blue and the white by long clicking on them. And then if I get the speed going again, it'll start to play just the red and that green. If I want to do kind of a red, white, and blue, I would just long click that green First I'll add in a white, so that's just right in the center, I'll click OK, click on the next square, go to a blue, click OK, and I have red, white, and blue. I can go ahead and increase the speed, maybe change it to a gradual fade, and you can see we have our patriotic LED bulb going. We also have a run and pause button, as well as an on and off button. When we're done, we can change the name of the mode in the text box here, and then click save, and it'll be available in the list of modes. In the main mode list as well, there is also the run and pause buttons as well as speed adjustment and on off. This controller along with the radio frequency controller is available at diodynamics.com. Thanks for watching.